So let's look at your classroom training or your workshop. There are two or three parts of it. One is the communication side. You communicate the idea. You are the delivery, right? So you can do that. You can transform that into a, a virtual presentation, right? Zoom, WebEx, Adobe Connect, you can do that there. However, there's something missing because if you only rely on Zoom or the virtual presentation to do everything, you tend to become completely overloading the learner. The other component which we often leave out is the fact that in your learning design, people are flipping to pages, flipping are doing exercises, uh, doing check marks, people are having their own note taking, uh, people are doing their own journaling, they have this post notes, and if you're very interactive, you have exercises that they're doing. So what do you do with those? This is where in a virtual training or remote training program, you don't just have Zoom. You have another methodology of making sure that all of your handouts, all of your materials, all of your exercises is being processed by the learner as they are learning with your virtual tool. Otherwise, what happens is that you are going to send them by emails or you're going to send them by going to a portal and say, download all this PDF. At the very least, reflect on the fact that there is the element of presentation and there's the element of materials, resources, activities that are so important to the learning process. So you need to have Zoom. Yes, you need to have Adobe Connect. Yes, but don't forget that much of the learning is happening with a lot of the exercises, activities, references, checklists, etc., and the like. Two parallel aspects of remote learning. Important thing to put that in your planning.